Noel, are we ready? ready? Okay, um, good evening, everyone. Um, good evening, everyone. Can you, can you hear me? It's on? Okay, good. <clears throat> well, it is uh, 5 o'clock, and it is time to begin the Community Development Committee meeting. Um, and I would uh, call to order the meeting, if I may have the roll call, please. Chairman Rivera. Present. Alderman Moisio. Here. Alderman Turner? Here. Alderman Florian? Here. Alderman Hayes? Here. Thank you. May I have uh, a motion to approve the minutes from the November 7, 2022 regular meeting? So moved. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Okay, we will move on to uh, number two, audience time. If there is anybody in the audience that would like to speak regarding anything that is on the agenda for the Community Development Committee. If there being none, we will go to old business. Uh, with there being no old business, we will proceed to new business. Item A, ordinance approving zoning calendar number V-1-22, the vacation of Sherman Avenue between Green Bay Road and Green Place. May I have a motion? We'll make the motion. Second. Are there any questions to this motion? Mr. Chairman, um, I would ask that a price be set as part of the motion so that that's documented within the motion. Yeah, it indicates here that the minimum price is? The minimum price would be $1. Okay. Um, so that there's a transactional cost. Um, the, let me make sure I'm looking at the right numbers here. Um, the assessed valuation would range between, uh, would be at 27668 and eight cents. Um, the market value would be $83,004.24. Most often, vacations are done at the assessed valuation and not more than the assessed valuation. Okay. Um, but it is at the council's discretion. Okay. Um, so, would I take a motion? Um, I would suggest that the motion to approve it include the price. Okay. So, we prepared a, a resolution that includes a blank for the, the amount to be paid. Um, the amount to be paid, what is considered a, a fair market value, is fully within the discretion of the city council. And uh, community development staff has provided you with a, a range based on um, per square foot value, valuations. Um, and uh, Noel can speak a little bit more to that, but um, any one of the values that is listed in the memo would be uh, absolutely legally supportable. All right, do I have any recommendations? Well, did Alderman Turner? Yes. Because it's part of its wetland, so there's only 2,700 square feet, 15,000 15, 15, is. 15,000. Uh, 15,000 square, square feet, feet roughly is what's left. Take that one times 184 That would be the assessed. That would be the assessed value for the usable portion um, of the vacated right of way, which is on the low end, um, but is in keeping with the practice of the city council for vacations. So then we are recommending the price of. That number would be twenty-seven thousand six hundred and sixty-eight dollars and eight. Okay. Make that motion. Oh, okay. Do I have a second on the motion? I second the motion. Okay, Alderman Hayes. Okay, so the motion on the floor is to um, approve the vacation of Sherman Avenue between Green Bay Road and Green Place for the amount of twenty-seven thousand six hundred and sixty-eight dollars. May I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Chairman Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Okay, item B. <clears throat> Ordinance 
approving zoning calendar number 2682, a tax amendment to the Western Gateway Redevelopment Overlay District in the B2 Community Shopping District to amend the boundaries by adding the property at 4000 North Point Boulevard. So moved. Any questions regarding this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Item C, ordinance approving zoning calendar 2687, a conditional use permit for a cannabis dispensary at 4000 North Point Boulevard. May I have a second? second? Alderman Hayes. Roll call, please. Uh, we're not going to discuss this at all. Any questions? I'm sorry. <laughs> Your petitioners are here this evening if you want to hear from them. Okay. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for coming. My name is Frank. I am the uh, president of Planet 13. And we also have Layton, which is our general counsel. And we have uh, Nick, who is our zoning attorney. And we also have Mark, who is our uh, uh, architect. OK, any questions from the panel? Yeah, I have a few. The committee, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, so I was at the planning and zoning meeting where you guys made your presentation. And I have a couple of questions um, from that presentation. Um, one of the things you stressed in, in your location was the fact that we're so close to Wisconsin and how you hope to tap into that. So it's illegal to transport marijuana across the border, and it's also illegal to consume it in your vehicle, I believe. Is that correct, Chief? <laughs> yes, yeah. he's shaking his head. Okay. So if someone comes from Wisconsin and they don't live in Illinois, they buy a product from you, what happens next? Well, I would assume they're going to legally consume it on someone's premises. I can't say what happens when someone from out of state comes to the dispensary and purchases a product. I would assume they're going to do it legally. That's our goal is to only conduct legal business. I can't control what someone does after they leave our facility. True. Are you going to advertise in Wisconsin? I'm not even sure if it's legal to advertise in Wisconsin. We haven't even talked about that yet. Okay. Um, I looked, um, I did some research on your company and, and your, uh, particularly your Las Vegas location. And there was a lot of uh, information about how people were consuming it on the street, basically, in Las Vegas. And the strip smelled like weed most of the time. So they, they now have, I forget what they call them. They have little... Lounges? Yes. Yes, they have lounges in Vegas. Um, Layton can speak to the Vegas because he's from Las Vegas a little bit better than I can. Um, but we don't have con con uh, lounges here in Illinois yet. There, I think there's one or two in the state. Um, that's something that we would advocate for as lounges where people can consume, you know, in a cannabis friendly environment. Um, yeah, did I answer your question? Um. I mean, there really wasn't a question there, I guess, uh, yet. What, I guess my question is, I didn't know if they were legal in Illinois or not. They must be if there are some. They are, yes. Yeah. Alderman Florian, they are legal in Illinois, but Waukegan opted not to adopt lounges, oh, consumption locations as part that, of our ordinance. Okay. So we did adopt all of the other uses that are legal in Illinois, but not the consumption locations. But what I can or tell you, ordinance. one problem we should not have is people consuming outside of the dispensary. That's something that our security will strongly enforce because like you said, it's not legal to consume cannabis outside. So our security will be on top of that. No one will be in the cars on premises smoking uh, cannabis in the parking lot. No one will be loitering in our parking lot. They're in our facility. Once they're finished with our facility, they can be on their way. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do you have um, in-house security or do you guys do you outsource the security personnel? We're going to outsource security. Do you know who you're using? Uh, we're, we're looking at a security company. Actually, it's pretty local. It's um, GG, GSG, which he's a retired uh, 
police officer from the city of Waukegan. He did 20 years uh, on the force here in Waukegan, and that's who we're 90, 95% towards leaning with. We haven't completed this process yet, so we haven't signed an agreement with him yet. Sure, sure. <coughs> yes, Alderman Mobile. Follow anything about the cannabis industry, you know, regulated thing in the world. The state's got it so regulated, it's impossible to have problems. I have not heard of one problem at any dispensary anywhere in Illinois. I have not heard of one. And there were, they actually, Channel 5 did a show on how stringent and restrictive and how they have to go about doing everything. It's all its all the state. The only thing is, the state of Washington, we approved it. We approved their site plan. That's about it. Everything else is... Is, is managed and governed by the state of Illinois. Not much else. We don't. I mean, obviously, I've never heard of any problems at a dispensary at one time in Illinois, anyway. I mean, I get the Wisconsin thing. Trust me, the state of Illinois. If they could, if they could put a cannabis dispensary on every border <laughs> that doesn't have it, they would. It doesn't make it right. I'm sorry. The budget in Springfield. That's all I can yeah. say. Not <laughs> Good for them. Right or wrong. I'm just telling you why they're doing it. All right. Any other comments? I have, questions? I have one general kind of comment for all of us up here. So this this law was originally passed in Illinois for um, reasons of social equity around the cannabis industry, right? That that's what this was supposed to be all about. So now we have a company coming from. I, I, you guys are based in. I'm from here. Right. And I well, saw, you're not from Waukegan. Well, I'm from Illinois, and I sought them out, a Las Vegas company, because I, I saw how they did business, okay. and I wanted to mimic that. Okay, great. That's awesome. Um, so I think we as a council need to do something to address the social inequality that's happened in Waukegan around this industry and do something specific to use the... Um, the tax money we'll be getting from cannabis into a specific program that addresses people who've had, you know, issues based around this. Okay, I see, say it better for me, Stu, can you? <laughs> what we can do is we, a number of communities have tried to, because um, I was actually talking about this with the applicant before the meeting, um, a lot of the state's efforts at expanding equity um, have been kind of stymied um, due to people like me and their attorney, um, that there's been a lot of legal actions in cases, not me personally, but there's been a lot of um, lawsuits that have kind of held up some of the uh, social equity goals. Um, what we can do is we can work with uh, planning and zoning staff and um, Thomas to talk about different things that the money could be um, directed towards in a way that's constitutional that is not preferential to um, groups in a way that would cause a, a constitutional challenge, but could actually um, be used uh, possibly to attain some better better goals. Thank you. What, what is social equity? What does that mean? What's the definition? How does that can, can I explain? Mm. So social equity is a program that was based on uh, people that were adversely affected by the war on drugs. Uh, from the criminalization of cannabis. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to right a wrong that's happened over the past multiple decades. And so to be a social equity applicant, you have to qualify in one of three baskets. The first basket is you had to have been either um, arrested for possession of cannabis. The second basket would be um, you live in an area that was adversely impacted by the war on drugs. And the third way you can qualify for social equity is you can hire at least 10 people that fit one of the first two categories. And that's exactly what the social equity program is. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the explanation. Are there any other questions? <clears throat> uh, are we ready for a vote? Smooth. I have a, a motion by Alderman Turner and a second by Alderman Hayes. I'm, I'm sorry, by Alderman Moisio and a second by Alderman Hayes. Alderman Turner? Oh, um, aye, yeah. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Alderman Moisio? Absolutely. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, <clears throat> item D. Ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2683, 
variance on lot size requirements for an automotive repair shop in the B3 district at 545 Benny Avenue, West Side. May I have a motion, please? Move. Motion by Alderman Mosio, seconded. Second. Second. By Alderman Turner. Any questions to this motion? Again, your petitioners are present tonight for the next several items, same group. Any questions for the petitioners? I just have a general comment. Um, I know I have only one of these in my ward, but I see them in other parts of the city where we're getting car repair shops with cars that tend to accumulate and store and get a lot of complaints from different parts of town. So I don't know, I, I, I have to be honest, I, I didn't carefully read this. Do we have a way to hold people accountable for this? Because I see this as a change we're making in a different area. So do we have a way to stay on top of this that we don't get a lot of cars stored and, and just sitting around? Yes, um, it is not approved for car storage. And um, the petitioners have stated that they don't intend to keep cars in the parking lot. They've said that on the record as part of their testimony. Okay. So that is adapted as, so our as zoning, part of the conditions. So our, our, our zoning, I mean, our code enforcement can yes. enforce based on that alone. And enforce on the conditions and can also okay. enforce on the code requirements about only having operable cars parked and that type of thing. Okay, so thank you. There are multiple facets. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the question I have is that um, in some parts of my ward, they have the auto repair, and they have people that drop their cars off at night for repair. So they're in the parking lot, they're in the area, and how are you going to address that? Good evening. Uh, my name is Bill Seitz. I represent the uh, petitioner and the applicants. So we actually have four items before you. Um, so basically what we're doing is uh, taking a, an existing building and you're going to have an auto repair on one end and the back end of it's going to be an auto body shop. Um, and so the issue of car storage and having cars on the, on the lot, these are going to be two very small businesses, so there's not going to be cars, uh, uh, very many cars on. It's a big lot, but there's not going to be very, very many cars. So for overnight, the only cars that will be there will be cars that are being worked on. So there will not be, uh, if there's a car that's that's disabled or, or whatever, that car will not be, there will be no car storage on this on this site. So that, that commitment's been made to the city. I know there's been a problem with other businesses, uh, but that will not be a, a problem with this particular, these particular businesses. Thank you. Mr. Seitz, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Um, I think the question was a little bit more about how d evening drop-off will be handled for service the following day. Um, I'm not certain. Uh, My name is Angel Tursis. Uh, if the time we're not going to be available is because um, our gates are closed, you know. So there's no way it's going to be parking there uh, at, at night time. So, so what you're saying is that there's not going to be a drop off? No, not at all. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Does that answer your question, yeah. Alderman? Thank okay, you. great. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, any other questions? I do have a, a motion and a second. Correct, a motion by Alderman Moisio and a second by Alderman Turner. Okay. Um, if there are no further questions, uh, roll call, please. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. I'm sorry, sir? Aye. Thank you. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Um, item E, these next three items are related. Um, ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2684, conditional use permit, for an automotive repair shop at 545 Benny Avenue, West Side. May I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Any questions to the motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Item F. 
<clears throat> ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2685, a variance on lot size requirements for an automotive body, for an auto body in the B3, B3 district at 545 Benny Avenue East Side. May I have a motion? Make the motion. I'll second. Seconded by Alderman Florian. Any questions to this motion? I just have a comment. I was actually going to say a few minutes ago, yes. I saw that there was a landscaping plan associated with all of this work. Thank you for submitting that. Um, having a landscaping plan and planting some trees is one thing. Maintaining them and keeping them looking mm -hmm. nice is another. So I just want to impress upon you the importance of doing that. It just it, it makes the city as a whole a much more pleasant place to drive through and to walk. And there's been a concerted effort by the city council, certainly planning and zoning, to make sure that any new developments that come through the city have some sort of landscaping plan. And we will be enforcing the plans that you propose. So I just want to put it out there. Trees make a big difference. Bushes make a big difference in pride of ownership from all sides of the business, whether you're facing an apartment building on the back or the street in the front. It's, it's of great significance to me, certainly to planning and zoning, and I think other people up here. So I just... I just want to put that out there as a comment. Agreed. Thank you, Alderman Hayes. Um, may I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Chairman Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay, item G, ordinance approving zoning calendar 2686 conditional use permit for an auto body at 545 Benny Avenue East Side. Make the motion. Motion by Alderman Turner, seconded by Alderman Mosio. Any questions to the motion? May I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Mosio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Item H, a resolution approving the extension of the conditional use permit for Goddess Growers 99 West Greenwood Avenue. May I have a motion, please? Make the motion. Second. Are there any questions to this motion? The petitioner is present if you have questions. If there are no questions. May I have a question, but it's not for the petitioner. I don't. I just don't remember. Is this the first request for an extension? No. Second, second, second request. request. I have a question. Yes. Yes. Is just for selling? No. Can you clarify what's it actually? Hi, uh, Thank you. Phoebe Dupre from Goddess Growers. Uh, I'm also the owner of uh, the warehouse at 99 West Greenwood. My team, Goddess Growers, had applied for a craft grower license. Um, they've issued all of the licenses at this moment. Um, all of the teams that won were veteran owned and were not. Uh, separately, we are um, part of an administrative review to question the process. So we may receive a license at a later date. However, we're not waiting to get a licensee, a cannabis licensee into the warehouse um, at 99 West Greenwood. It will be a licensed craft grower or a licensed infuser and um, the only traffic coming to and fro will be employees uh, working for the craft grow. So it, it won't be a retail location. Any other questions? Thank you. May I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Um, okay, item I, ordinance approving HPC calendar number L-1-22. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, um, this is being held over in committee. Yep. We need a motion. For do we need a motion to hold it over? We need a motion to do that, Stu? Yeah, uh, a motion to hold over would be appropriate. I'll All make right. a motion to hold it over, please. I'll second it. Thank you. Okay. Can I have a roll call, please? We need roll call. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Okay, item J. <clears throat> a resolution authorizing amendment to the lobbyist agreement with Cornerstone Government Affairs Incorporated 
for a one year contract extension. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Alderman Hayes, and may I have a second? Anyone? I'll second. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, great. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. Um, are there any questions to this motion? I have a question. Um, the agreement that's in here, are, are the dates not moved up yet? Is that, it seems to me that we're agreeing to the same, like this says, the term of the agreement shall be extended for 24 months commencing on January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022. That's happening in a couple weeks. The uh, the attachment, it, there's two attachments. So one is the original agreement with the particular terms of the entire agreement. And then there's the one page uh, attachment, which is the one year uh, extension of the original terms. So the document I think you're referring to is just the, the broader terms of the services that they're pro uh, providing. Okay. If I may. Sure you're gonna sign the right thing. Yes, <laughs> and Julia Larkin from Cornerstone as part of that firm is here to answer your questions. Is it just that the amendment gets drafted once we approve it? This is, a, a, in terms of the amendment, there is there should be a one page. Uh, right, but that's what I just read off of. It says January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022. The one page amendment that's in our, our packet. So maybe there's a uh, incorrect mm -hmm. attachment. So we can, we can obviously upload the correct okay. attachment. I appreciate the uh, understanding. So okay. Why, why are we doing an extension instead of a negotiating a new contract? Um, when the when the contract for the uh, lobbyist was originally uh, proposed to the council and was approved, that was done after extensive vetting, actually two years of vetting of, of lobbyists uh, in order to find the best uh, services for the city of Waukegan. In the time since, we've been very pleased with the uh, work product of them, including uh, an expansion of services that have not um, that were not originally encompassed, federal federal assistance that was not originally uh, encompassed, and they did that at the uh, original rate with no increase. And uh, we found that it is both um, a reflection of the good faith uh, partnership we've had, as well as um, obviously it, the current uh, proposal is also at the request is requested to be at the same rate as we received four years, three years ago when we first entered the contract. So we found it prudent to uh, continue those services, not have to go out for, uh, due to the fact that we find that a lobbying firm is generally a highly specialized skill set. Uh, obviously the city of Waukegan has a number of very unique uh, characteristics and needs that um, are not, you know, it's not a, a plug and place that, you know, you need specialists that know what the city needs and we found their um, their performance to be exceptional. But that doesn't answer my question, Tom. The, the contract expires and you wanna extend it one year and we have ordinances about going out, taking things out to bid and there's gotta be other lobbying firms that can. This, this is a professional service, Alderman, which does not require a bid. However, we did do a, we did do a thorough review in the initial review to that, to that desire. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, if there are no further questions, roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. Alderman Hayes. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Chairman Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Um, okay. Moving on to item K. Ordinance increasing the number of Class Q casino liquor licenses by one for the temporary at American Place Casino, FHR Illinois dash 600 Lakehurst Road, 4001-4011, Fountain Square Place. So moved. Second. Any questions to this motion? I have a roll call. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Florian. Aye. 
Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Item L, ordinance increasing the number of Class E restaurant liquor licenses by two for the temporary at American Place Casino, FHR, Illinois-600 Lakehurst Road, 4001-411 Fountain Square Place. Make the motion. Thank you. May I have a second? Second. Alderman Hayes. Any questions to this motion? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Hayes? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Chairman Rivera? Aye. Thank you. Um, that concludes the new business. Moving on to reports and communications, there being none, um, we move on to number six, adjournment, and I will... Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. The meeting has ended at 530.